I'm Judy Conroy, running for a seat on the Housing Authority. I'm a lifelong resident, married with five grown children. My public service over many years includes two terms on the school committee where I brought forward the purchase of the Christian Life Center, 11 acres of land, a building, and a gym at a cost of $600,000. Today, this is the Elm Street School. The gain of the gym allowed the high school project to not need a second gym, saving about $2 million. As chair of the school committee, after seeing previous defeats to fix the high school, I led the successful passage of the addition renovation override by bringing information to all groups to gain consensus. I served one term as a selectman, and I saw the need and led the vote to expand Walpole's emergency services with the addition of the life, advanced life support medical services to the fire department. I saw the need to help our neighbors and was a founding member treasurer of the food pantry and helped to set up the permanent location on Washington Street. I was a town meeting member for 11 years, a member of the Friends of St. Patrick Board for 20, and an 11-year Boston Marathon charity runner, including the year of the finish line bombing, raising thousands of dollars for Dana-Farber. I have 41 years of property man management experience with C&J Realty and I retired after 34 years of operating my business, Walpole Physical Therapy, at 420 Main Street. Over many years, I have heard the concerns of my elder clients about the need for senior housing. I have demonstrated that I am a proven communicator, a problem solver, and I'm budget driven. I have business, town government, policy, and fundraising experience, and I will bring these skills to the Housing Authority. Being retired now, I have time to give back. Over the years, we have taken care of our schools and fields, library and public safety. Now it's time to take care of our senior and family neighborhoods. I recognize that the Housing Authority role is limited to at the enforcement of federal and state guidelines and policies, but I will dedicate my efforts on this board to ensure that our senior and family housing neighborhoods come to the forefront in Walpole and I will do whatever I can to make that happen. Thank you.